my VR studio tour. This video has been a long time coming, but it's finally here. This office has been through many, 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 many different iterations, but I'm finally at a place where I'm really happy with my setup. The goal with this space was to always make a space that's functional for different needs. I needed a space that I could do my mixed reality VR content, I needed a space that I can film YouTube videos, and I needed a space where I can do all my video editing. And it also needed to be able to store all my different accessories and gear that I need for content creation. But let's get to it. Let's start with my PC setup. All right, this is my gaming PC. And this is a PC I built myself. This is probably the third or fourth PC I built by now. And uh, inside it for the CPU, we have an AMD Ryzen 9. I've got some G-Skill 32 gig of RAM. For the graphics card, I have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, which is amazing. It runs all my VR stuff really well, so really happy with that. And then I have a Elgato Camlink Pro. What that does, it allows me to plug in four different cameras all at once, which I definitely need with my setup. And then just for other PC things, I've got a mixture of the Asus ROG motherboards and fans, and also a couple of Corsair fans. The case is also a Leon Lee case as well. And then on top, we have my PreSonus Studio 24C audio interface. And this is what runs my microphone and any additional microphones I might have. And this one here is uh, an Asus router, which is new to my setup. And what this does is creates a separate Wi-Fi network in my office that I can use with my Quest. So I can do things like AirLink and not have any interference and make sure the speeds are really fast. So this is just for my Quest, this router. And then over here, we have what we don't talk about, my bad cable management. So no judgment, it's just, it's functional, leave it be. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? This is my desk setup. This is where I do a lot of my video editing and also where I do a lot of my Twitch streams from. For monitors, we have a 27 inch view Sonic monitor. I've had this for quite a few years and it does a good job. Then we have a 24 inch BenQ monitor. This one, I am a fan of the vertical monitor so I can put my Twitch chat there or any alerts or anything. So on my desk for keyboard, I have a custom keyboard by Fat Cat Customs that they sent out and it's got a little, a little kitty cat paw print key. And then I've got a custom braided keyboard cable here, which is really cute. And then a Logitech mouse, if you can't tell, I like a little white setup. Also got a little Logitech uh, mouse pad, uh, which is purple. I'm a fan of purple. For my earphones, uh, these are the Corsair Virtuoso. These ones are wireless, and I really like these. I like the kind of, that it all matches white. Also matches with my Oculus Quest as well. And the microphone in these is pretty awesome if I ever need to use that. Then this, uh, this is a standing desk, uh, which I really, really love. I love having a standing desk. And it did have a longer desktop, but now I use a it's just a custom piece of wood that I got from a hardware store and then for the seat I have a Herman Miller chair I got this sent to me when I was working with an esports company and it's a pretty good chair but a lot of people ask me if these are worth the investment I personally think a standing desk is a better investment for your posture then up here we have the camera that I use for streaming or video calls this is a Panasonic Lumex GH5S and the lens is a 10 to 25 mil wide angle lens started working with Panasonic a little while ago when I was doing a lot of my mixed reality stuff. They did send me these cameras to kind of test out and use. And they've been a great help to my content. All right, and then for microphone, this is a Sennheiser MZS600 shotgun mic. And I recently switched to this one because I hate having a microphone show up on camera. So the good thing about this, I can have it just above me and you don't see it on camera. One thing I like about the setup is that when I'm filming a YouTube video over here, I can just pull out my microphone arm and uh, use it when I'm standing here and filming YouTube. YouTube videos and then put it back when I'm using it for streaming so I really like the versatility of that and then on the arm this is a Rode mic boom arm all right that's my desk so this is my backdrop that I use for YouTube videos and twitch streams and just kind of a nice looking backdrop I use for different things uh, so this drawer is an Ikea set of drawers and inside it I just keep a lot of random stuff like here I've got all my VR accessories and camera accessories and then above me this is the camera I use for my mixed reality setup so all my Beat Saber videos and this is mounted to the roof because this room is very bouncy so it needs to be stabilized by either having it on the wall or the roof so I've recently put it on my roof here with this newer wall, wall mount and then this is my camera it's a Panasonic GH5S which works really well for my setup and the lens is a 10 to 25 mil lens and that is very, very wide. So it allows me to get everything in on my green screen area. I've recently expanded my green screen area to make it a full space rather than a little side on space, but I'll get into that soon. 
Up here we have, I think, a Kmart lamp, which has a LifeX bulb inside it, so it's a smart bulb, so I can change the colors. Then on my desk here, we have the Nexigo charging dock, and they're also the sponsor of today's video. If you're someone like me who's very forgetful at remembering to charge their Quest, then you need one of these charging docks. It comes with this little adapter that plugs into your Quest, and that is magnetic. So when you slot it into your dock, it automatically starts charging. And then goes orange, letting you know that it's charging, and then turns blue when it's fully charged. But don't worry, if you don't want to have the lights on all the time, you can press the little next to go charging icon and it turns off all the lights. The other thing I love about this dock is that it has rechargeable batteries for your controller. So inside the controllers, you have these rechargeable batteries and it comes with a cover that has pins. So when you plug it into the dock, it automatically starts charging for you. The best thing is the stand works with multiple different head straps as well. And if you're using the Elite head strap with battery pack, you can use the magnetic adapter in the back so then it magnetically charges the head strap and the Quest all at the same time. I'm loving this addition to my setup. It's nice and sleek. I know my headset's always charged and it just makes my life so much easier. So thank you Nextigo for sponsoring today's video. So currently the head strap on my Quest is the Bobo M2 Pro head strap with battery pack. And I find this head strap really comfortable. And one of the things I love is that it has these magnetic batteries. So you can press the light to tell you how charged it is and you just pop it into the back and then it charges your Quest. So you just plug it into the side and your Quest is charged for like another three hours or something. I absolutely love this head strap and yeah, find it so comfortable. For plants, I have a watermelon pepperoni here. I really like the design of the leaves on this one. And then I have a little peace lily in the side. And then I have my YouTube 100K plaque. This thing still blows my mind. And then we have Astro Boy. I get lots of comments about this little figure on my desk and I absolutely love Astro Boy. I used to have like a lot of collectibles in my office. But over time, I've learned that just decluttering and having less stuff just makes life so much easier. Uh, then in the corner, we have a random snake plant. And this here is a charger for my index controllers. I got it from Etsy and I really like the wood look. And these just kind of slot straight in and plug into USB to keep them charged. In the corner that I'm very squished in, we have a random plant. I don't know what it's called, but it's got nice long trestles. Uh, and up top here, I have a few products that I'm yet to review, but I meant to. And then for VR headsets, these are all my old VR headsets. So here I have a Oculus Rift CV1. This is the, I guess, second VR headset I owned or third one I ever used. So the audio is broken. And then we have a HP Reverb G2, which uh, was the original one of these that I got sent to review, but I've got to review the new one now. Then we have the PlayStation VR. This one's got a big scratch on the lens. So I don't use the PlayStation VR too often, but looking forward to the new one. And then here we have my Valve Index. This index doesn't usually sit in here. This usually is my main headset, so I have it plugged in and just kind of lying on the floor. But the sake of the video, we put it on display. So this is my main headset usually. I love my Valve Index, but it is starting to have some audio issues. So I've been trying to use my Quest as my main headset, but still love this guy. So when I'm filming my YouTube videos, I usually stand in front of my backdrop and I use this tripod here. This is an adjustable tripod that I absolutely love. It's a Ben Rio video tripod and it has like just little spinny adjustment so I can easily move it up and down and adjust it where I want. And for lighting, I use the Godox light with the softbox. The Godox light is an SL60 and the softbox is a QR P90. And then here we have my accessory wall. So this is where I put all my VR accessories that I use the most or I think just look cool. And first up we have my B Haptics haptic vest. This is the X40. So if you're not familiar with these, it's a haptic vest that vibrate, has over 40 motors built into it that vibrate to coincide with the game you're playing. And I absolutely love using this. I need to find more games that I can play with this. And yeah, absolutely love these. And then here I have some like things that I need to charge regularly, like the battery packs for my Bobo head strap. So I leave them here. And then I have a USB cable that I run up and leave them charging here when I need them. And then here, I just have some random cables that I use for audio regularly. And this thing here, I uh, absolutely love this. This is a new addition. This is a little charging pack for my wireless microphones. So what I'm using now or when I use for like any filming, I use the Rode Wireless Go mic and these are really good for recording Quest stuff especially. And then here, these are the Tundra Labs full body trackers. So if you're doing something like VR chat, you want full body tracking or if you're VTuber or if you want to play Beat Saber, 
but with your feet, then uh, you can use these guys here. The thing about these are a lot smaller than the HTC Vibe trackers, and you only need one adapter plugged into your PC, which is great. I haven't used these much yet, but I'm looking forward to getting into some full body tracking games. And then up here, these are the B Haptics uh, Tactosi. So these are the ones that you use on your arms. I don't use these too often because I find them a bit uncomfortable and they slide off my arms all the time, but I need to find a better way to putting them on my arms. But yeah, they're like the vest before your arms. Uh, and then here I have some random Beat Saber accessories. This is a Mall Saber attachment. I talked about this in another recent video. So you can put your Quest controllers in there and play Beat Saber but with a mall saber. So really fun accessory. These are um, some extended uh, Beat Saber controller grips. Don't love them. I got them to try them out, but yeah, don't love them. A lot of people recommended them though, but yeah, I might try them out a bit more, but I'm not a fan right now. Uh, and then here, this is the Quest Elite battery head strap. So I use this occasionally. So I just kind of put it aside so I know where it is if I want to use it. Uh, and then I have some Quest controller covers. These are the Kiwi grips. So this is the standard Kiwi grip. And this is like their extended uh, Kiwi grip, but I'm really loving it at the moment. So I just kind of have them for easy access when I want to use them. Uh, and then I have some uh, elastic stretching bands. So whenever I play Beat Saber, I use these to stretch beforehand. So, so I had them on hand. And then down here, we have some cyber shoes. These are really cool. Like you, you meant to sit down and walk around with them. They sent them out to me a while ago, but I've never been able to get them to work. So definitely need to put some time aside to find out how I can get these working. But that's my accessory wall. And then we have a random whiteboard that to be honest, I don't use too often, but I'm trying to use it more. All right, let's talk about my green screen area. So this is my green screen area, and this is where all the mixed reality magic happens. This has been an area that's been upgraded many times. Originally, it was just half this space, and my camera was mounted to the window because it's a very bouncy room, need to be on the window. But recently, I've expanded it to be half my whole office, so I'm really happy with this upgrade, but it's been a lot of work. Originally, when I turned this room into a green screen area, I had to cover up this window. So this window is boarded up, and I've painted all the walls green and recently painted the door, taped up the edging, and even put tape on the door. And for the paint, I've used a special chroma key paint. So that's a certain type of green that's very matte, no glossiness, so it doesn't get any reflection. So that's what's on the wall. And then for the floor, this is a green Ava foam. In Australia, this stuff's been very hard to get, uh, but this is all I could get at the moment. It's not quite the right green, but it works for chroma keying. So if you can try and get a proper chroma key green, I find Ava phone very comfortable on my feet, especially when I'm dancing around a Beat Saber for many hours at a time. I've had to, had to replace this chroma key floor quite a lot because my dog likes to pee on it. So this is a recent addition to my setup as well, because my office is quite long. I do get a lot of echo for filming videos. So I've recently added some soundproofing. These are special fiberglass panels and I've covered them in green fabric so I can still chroma key them out on my software. And these have helped my videos so much. There's way less echo in here. It also stops some of the outside noise as well, um, but I've added three panels to my green screen area. So one here, one here, and one on that wall. And then I've added four to the ceiling to help with all that noise bouncing around. And then I've added one more to the side as well. So another big important part of lighting a green screen area is lighting. So these are the Elgato key light. So these are all wirelessly controlled, so I can just turn them on and off with software. And then I've used one of the Elgato wall mounts to mount them onto the wall. So I have four lights, so one here and then the opposite wall and then two on the ceiling opposite as well. Then up here, we have the Vive Lighthouse that I use for my Valve Index. So I have one up here, one in the opposite corner, and that's what tracks my Valve Index and its controllers. So I find that works really well with games like Beat Saber because it's tracked from kind of all angles. And then above me as well, I have these little Kiwi roof attachments. This is what I use to help keep my cable off the ground and out of the way of the camera. I think that pretty much sums up my VR Studio Tour. I hope you guys found it informative. A lot of this stuff I own has been accumulated over six years because I've been in content creation that long and I'm super grateful that I'm able to have an office studio like this. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. But thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.